good game from Mac and a really good uh, script and plan there from from Billy O. That's the guy. That's the guy. When I say, yeah, you can you can make it work with Mac Jones. That's that's the guy I'm talking about. You get it blocked in front of him, and and he made some throws under. I think it was five for six, or he's against the blitz. It wasn't just pressure, but against the blitz, he's I think five for six, six for seven yesterday. Shredded the Bills blitz. Because when he's not under pressure every single snap, he handles it better when it's intermittent. And that's not a Mac Jones thing. That's an every quarterback. He looked thing. much more comfortable in the pocket yesterday than he had. Right, because he can gain a level of comfort. So when there is pressure, he's not – it builds on you. It's, it's cumulative. Yeah. Each down isn't its own thing. So when you're pressured down after down after down after down, that's going to wear you out. When you're just dealing with it here and there, it becomes a little easier to deal with. And then he's putting the ball on, guys. Composed. He led the drive at the end of the game. I hated, I hate the Mac Jones hasn't led a game winning drive thing because he's done it at times. Like he's done it. And then either, you know, against Cincinnati last year, Ramondre fumbles or against the, yeah. the Cowboys, the defense gives up a bad touchdown or whatever. Like he's done this more than we give him credit for. But you saw it there yesterday. It was an excellent job of him to lead that drive in a weird spot with the timeout situation. They put the ball in his hands on the goal line. I didn't know if they were going to trust him to do that. That's the guy I'm talking about. When I say they can make it work with him, let's not rush back to the quarterback carousel. That's the guy. Which didn't now, look good. The college quarterback carousel did not look good. No, we we'll will get, get to that. <laughs> Here's the flip side of it. Mac Jones, and, and I know Greg Bedard wrote this thing about, and I heard I heard, I heard Felgren Maz uh, give it, giving, him, giving it to him for it, about how Mac Jones... Uh, I think they answered all the questions or whatever. In a sense, he did. The, the, the question is about pressure, uh, but like, like rush pressure and situational pressure late in the game. The question is about distributing the ball, like throwing in not just Hunter Henry, right? Things like that. Showed a little mobility, whether it was moving within the pocket or he had that run early in the game that was like a sneaky big play. There's one box he didn't check. And it's not one he could have checked in that game. Like you can't check in one game and that's consistency. And that, and, and this, by the way, is my overarching take on the offense and the whole game. But it, Mac Jones is a part of this. I think that was the Patriots' best punch. I think that game was their Super Bowl. The Bills have wiped the floor with them for basically since Brady retired. Six and one. Since Brady retired, the one win came in the windstorm. They were... National media is writing them off. Bill's job's on the line. People are talking about all the first-round quarterbacks. Sell, sell, sell at the deadline, all of it. That game was their Super Bowl. They were going If they were going to show up for any game this year, that was it. And they showed up. Credit to them. They showed up, and again, they threw their best punch. Can they do it again? And can they do it regularly? Can they play that way? What are... Uh, what it, so they're what two and five now? They played seven games. They had ten games left. Can they play that way ten more times? I don't know about that. Eight more times. Ugh. Five more times, maybe two to three. Right? Like that's the question. That again, that's their best punch. That is. We'll talk about the defense. There were some things the defense could have done better, but for the most point, for what the roster is, that game, the way they played it, is more or less what you're going to get. When they max out, can they, and, and that's not to say that like there are teams that max out for nobody does it for every game, but 12, 13, 14 games a season. That's what good teams do. Niners max out significantly. How many times in the last 10, in the last 10 games of the season here, can the Patriots play that game? And that's basically the big, and I don't know the answer. My guess, two to five, <laughs> two to five game. And it depends who you play them against. Cause I don't know if that game gets past the Chiefs. It certainly gets you past Washington, Indy, who else they have down there? Buffalo, uh, not Buffalo. Um, we'll the get Jets. to Buffalo in a second. Jets the Jets, probably. I wanted to say Denver. Yeah, it gets you past those teams. So can they play that game again? How often can they play it? Who do they play it against? That's the question coming away. But that, to, to what we said on top, when we saw them in training camp, that's the team we saw. We said they'll be okay. They might steal some games here and there. They'll be in the playoff picture. That's the kind of team we saw. And and it, it could this it, Mac Jones is at the crux of this. That's Mac Jones at about his best. He may, maybe he can take it like one step above that, but that's more or less Mac Jones at his best. 
you can win with that. You can certainly win with that. I there's he was a top ten quarterback in the league this week. It's better than the guy on the other side. Everybody's you know Joshy Poo, MVP <laughs> snub whatever. It's better than him. Much better than him. Can Mac Jones give you that game week in and week out? Because if he does that, the conversation around the quarterback in the draft changes drastically. And the conversation about Mac Jones' fifth-year option changes drastically. Mac Jones plays seven, eight more games like that. You pick up the fifth-year option, you put some more peace around him, and you see what you have. Mac Jones plays one or two more games like that, you take quarterback in the first round. Yeah. Yeah. No. So that's that's where I'm at with Mac and with the team. Great game. Best punch. Do it again. Can you do it again? Yeah. Right. It and Miami, I Miami, I think is a good test. Because if they play that game against Miami, they're gonna have a shot. I don't know that it's a guaranteed win. And I think Miami's better than Buffalo, but they're gonna have a shot if they play that game again next week. The CLNS Media Network is powered by FanDuel. Sign up at fanduel.com slash Boston and get in on the action with $200 in bonus bets guaranteed. When you place a $5 bet, that's $200 in bonus bets, win or lose. You mentioned Mac under pressure. Uh, Taylor posted some of the stats earlier. He was under pressure, 4-4, 42 yards, touchdown versus the Blitz. 8 of 9, 113 yards and a touchdown. And versus man coverage, which has been the big downfall this year, is another reason why you ha- got to get Pop and Demario Douglas out there, get some separators out there. He was 6 of 7, 67 yards and two touchdowns. So awesome, like, top five game of probably Max career. There were still a few plays you, you know, you'd like them to make. He admitted once or twice he still dropped his eyes on the rush and got kind of happy feet. One of his sacks was like that. I think he missed Kendrick Bourne. A few times too. One was uh, right before the half, so there were still plays to be made. But again, that was one of Mac Jones's, <clears throat> excuse me, one of his best games of his career. Leading that drive, even before that, some real nice throws to Henry, uh, Farrell Brown down the seam, Demario Douglas down the seam, down the seam. That's the Mac Jones you yeah. want to see. If you get that, then maybe you're talking Keon Coleman, Roma Adunze, Dun- right? Exactly. Yeah. Joe Alt or yeah. uh, Olu Fashanu. I thought it a really good game against Ohio State. Um, and he, Max said it after the game. He was like, yeah, Bill O'Brien called the game with stuff I liked at Alabama. It's Alabama Mac. Yeah, there you exactly. go. That's what that was. Ever wish you could navigate the betting field with the confidence of a pro? Enter Odds Are. They're not a sports book, but they're the sports betting advisor you've always needed. It's like having a playbook for smarter bets right in your pocket. I've been absolutely loving the experience, and I think you will too. Especially since Patriots Press Pass listeners get a 30-day free trial. Elevate your game day and join the smart betting revolution. Go get it at oddsr.com slash press pass. That's oddsr.com slash press pass.